Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. You're working from home? Protect your sensitive data with an extra layer of security? Go to expressvpn.com slash rttv to learn more. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Rashid Podcast. I'm Gus. Were you, were you reading that? Yes. I'm Gavin. I'm Kayla. I'm Barbara. And I'm Gus. Kayla, I'm glad you're here yeah. because you made me feel terrible last oh, week. No. <laughs> you inadvertently, we were doing a stream of Gardic phone and very <laughs> offhanded, you probably don't even remember it, you said something that made me realize how fucking <laughs> ancient I am. We were, uh, we were, we were, I don't know if we were streaming, I don't know if we were live or it was before the, I think we were the stream went live. Streaming? What, were we actually streaming at the time? I don't remember. because Someone was like talking about Paul Shear. That's true. And then I said, oh, I misheard. I thought you were talking about Paul Schaefer. And Kayla said, who? I said, you know, Paul Schaefer, he was the, the band leader. No. She goes, who? You know, for David Letterman? Who? I don't know I was who like, people you are. don't know who David Letterman is? Mm -hmm. like, I don't know. I was like. Oh, yeah, I, like, saw, I saw this at the chin guy, and you were like, no, that's the <laughs> other guy. I got so down. I was like, like, he was in cars as a car, and you were like, no, not that guy. Jay Leno? Yeah. The rest of the stream, <laughs> I was just like, guy. how <laughs> old am I? Look at the big bumper. <laughs> there have been a lot of people on the podcast lately who make you feel old. It's, it's happening more and more. Maybe we, we should all finally week. retire mm. and uh, move on. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, it's no fine. more podcast. Once I stop, that's it. all podcasts everywhere need to shut down after that. <laughs> What's the opposite of green lighting a show? Just red light? Red lighting. Is that what you call it? Stop, Stop it. signing? What's that? Because you have to... Uh, Sunsetting a show? Sunsetting? Canceling? Yeah. I know that's not a funny <laughs> answer. <laughs> Gussing it. I, uh, I was at... I don't know if you guys ever do this. Do you all ever go to the grocery store like late at night on the weekends? I no. went. I went to HEB Saturday night mm -hmm. like at... It wasn't even that late. Like 11 p.m. Maybe mm -hmm. almost midnight. And I think HEB is really interesting yeah. at that hour on the weekend. Because some are just open to 3 a.m. for no reason. Like a <laughs> fucking McDonald's. It's weird. Well, the thing about these places is it's a mixture of night owls and people who are super dressed up to go downtown. It's like, why are you all stopping at HEB? Pedialyte. Is that what it is? Yeah, they're all getting Pedialyte. There's so it's many like hangovers, right? There's so many like girls in like high heels and skirts and like sparkly tops. Like it's obvious they're stopping at HEB and then going downtown. And then there's me like in like sweats, just like schlepping around the store. Uh, it's like two totally different spectrums of people. It's just Gus going, Paul Schaefer, Paul Schaefer, Paul Schaefer, Paul Schaefer. Paul Schaefer. <laughs> but I, uh, I was paying for, I went through this whole fucking ordeal when I was there, but I went through, I was paying for the things that I bought. Mm. And uh, I got, I get up to the register and uh, there's like a phone sitting there, you know, there's like at the HEB, there's like that little counter thing and uh, the, the little payment terminal and there's a phone sitting there on that little counter. Are it's an being, iPhone. Are you being tested? And it's upside down. Yeah. And I look at it and I look at the cashier and I look at the guy who just left. He's like starting to like collect his bags and walk off. And I go, I, I yell him, excuse me, is this your phone? And he turns on and looks at me and just like super calm says, I never pull my phone out in public. <laughs> and I was like. Okay. So, sure. no? I mean, it's a yes or no question. And he, like, he doesn't even answer me. He just walks off. That, <laughs> and I just look at the cashier. I'm like, I guess it wasn't his? That guy failed every standardized test he's ever taken. Because <laughs> he just writes and answers on the side of the Scantron. <laughs> I was so confused. So he just wanted to give you extra information about his phone use, but didn't want to answer the question. Yeah. It's okay. like he was offended by the fact you would even think yeah. that he would take his phone like out. He's some kind of somewhere. plebe that looks at this fucking phone in public. Yeah, how dare you? Like he's some kind of... He had headphones on too. I was like... <laughs> well, yeah, but they were probably AirPods, so he doesn't need to take his phone out. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. He just goes, next song, please. I don't know how AirPods work. I don't have one. That seems like it. Do you go... Do you, do you tap it twice or something when I, you want to do something? It's when you no, skip. they like, you squeeze. You squeeze, you squeeze it? No, you it's tap like twice. Just you, they have a little stem. You just kind of pull it. Yeah. On the AirPod? Yeah, you just like yeah. tap, tap, and you go next. Oh, you know what? I've got the other type. Yeah. You got the, the pulley type. The noise cancelling ones where you squeeze. Oh. oh. Can okay. you tap as well? Oh, I'm thinking of like turning on noise cancelling. Oh. oh. That's a squeeze and then a tap is to do the That's music. That's fun. Yeah. Are they squishy? Uh, a little bit squishy. They got, got like a little squish to them. bit of a button feel to it. Okay. <laughs> like when you push it. Okay. Okay. I haven't worn them in a while. They're not good for my ears. No. I have an earwax problem. Oh. Me too. My yeah. sister has that. Yeah. She has like a thing. Works. It's disgusting. She has like a little... Suction thingy. <gasps> she should get uh, something that a, a doctor once recommended to me. I think it's called Debrex or something like that. It's a, a liquid you pour into your ear. Like a puppy. And it like fizzes up your earwax to soften it. So it's I, easier to clean it. I've used that, that before, but I feel like it doesn't do anything. I feel like 
I've got like impacted earwax or something, oh, and no. it's like nothing comes out. Yeah, like, you gotta, need the suction one. You just yeah. gotta get it scraped. Or go to an ENT, and yeah. they could do it. Actually, like go in your oh, ear God. with a tool. Well, what happened to the camera? Why we keep talking about earwax, and no one's bought the scrapey well, camera? Eric's not here. It, guess who bought it for themselves and used it on themselves? See? This oh, guy. Oh. How'd it go? It was fucking disgusting. Oh. Because it's so magnified mm -hmm. that when you like are looking in there, you're like, oh, fuck, ew, what's in there? And then you start to like pull a chunk out and it looks like it's going to be this big when it comes out. But it's like, eh. I think you need to put something in your ear for scale. Just so you know, this, like a little what? Lego man head or something. Ugh. Just because it's like, you Have know. Have you what? seen the insides of, this is a very small opening right here. Let me see. <laughs> I very. Those aren't regulation. They're not regulation. No, those are those are not standard. Which I feel really bad about because those AirPods you were talking about, and I know my parents watch this podcast, they bought me those AirPods for my birthday last year. Yeah. And they yeah, even yeah. got like the little case engraved with like Aww. a nickname. Uh, they don't fit in my ears. Even with the little changeable things? I can put the yeah. smallest ones in there and they still go. Oh. They just don't see, sit in there. I need the, uh, I either need the, like, I get the middle ones. <sighs> the ones that come on are always either too small or too big. So I have yeah. to get the. The middle size ones really get just, up in there. They just didn't stay. The biggest ones, the smallest ones, they just slipped right out. It's probably because I have like wet earwax everywhere. Mm. Have you ever seen those earwax spoons <sighs> that they use in East Asia to clean ear earwax? Spoons? Yeah, like tiny little spoons. It, it looks like a spoon, just like not a regular size spoon, but an ear size spoon. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> and you like stick it in to like scoop out and clear out That's all kind the of what this uh, device is. Oh, really? It's, it's like just curved on the end, like. Just like that, to do a little scooper. It's great. Did you just sneeze a little bit? I did. <laughs> <laughs> the quietest I sneeze I've twice. ever heard. How do you do it so quietly? Uh, this is how I sneeze. Really? <laughs> yeah. If you missed it on, on the audio, it, was, it sounded to me like this. <laughs> I, do, I specialize in, a, in ASMR sneezes. Uh, they're, very, <laughs> they're very close to the mic, but very small. <laughs> My sneezes have no warning. Yeah. Yeah. You know how some people have the, yeah. where they're like breathing in, they're about to sneeze. Mine is just the chew out. There's no ah. Uh. <laughs> it's just the chew. You just exhale. Do you just like, uh, uh, <laughs> like stumble on it? My teachers used to get mad at me when I was in elementary school because they thought I was making my sneezes louder on purpose to get attention. And I was like, no, believe me, I wish my sneezes weren't this loud. I just have a deviated septum. Yeah. Why are you being mean to me? I'm just fucked up all in here. Can't you tell? A, a loud sneeze is way more satisfying, though. Uh, like, especially sure. if I'm alone. I like to really blast <laughs> them out, like fire them out. Yeah, I, I bet I, you do. I feel like um, uh, usually if I'm like, like I'm dog sitting right now. So like if I don't like take, I'm allergic to everything. Including living. dogs? Cats, dogs, birds, uh, flowers, <laughs> anything with petals, leaves. Plant, like anything dander mold mildew all i'm allergic to literally everything my life is a non-stop hellscape um everything, <clears throat> everything. Like petals yeah you should take flies bikes yeah especially bikes yeah well, uh, so, <laughs> so, so i'm watching a dog and if i don't take my medicine like the sneezes come so rapid fire that like i can't sneeze through my nose anymore it just comes out of my mouth like <laughs> i'm just like coughing up sneezes it's awful what does it sound like at that point is it still no, it sounds like a dad. That's it sounds like a dad sneeze cough oh. combination. It's really bad. Two, one of those. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like that. That doesn't sound healthy. No, it hurts really bad too. <laughs> I think the best sneeze is when you're on a couch and you can like tuck your legs up as you sneeze. <laughs> what? The most satisfying. Like yeah, a whole body like, sneeze, yeah. but really like cock it back and fire it out. <laughs> you know, you're like <laughs> like that. Yeah, oh. the best ones. Although you yeah. doing that with the sound you made wouldn't. It would look unbalanced, I think. Yeah. That's yeah. as big of a sneeze I can go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh. So uh, before the podcast, we were talking about olives. <laughs> yeah, we olives were mm. shy. I yeah, feel obligated to bring it up. Some people on this podcast obligated. do not like olives, and they are wrong. I feel like it's, it's a good okay. first question, actually. A lot of people go for like, no, you like cats or dogs. It's like a lot of people like both. Yeah. Olives, though, very polarizing. Yeah, do I you feel like, like no one thinks olives are okay. I don't understand... I love olives. Yeah. I can't imagine not liking them. Even when I was like a little kid and like a, you know, a picky eater, like a no. stupid little kid, mm -hmm. I still would eat them. Yeah. We were talking about, I was blown away that this flavor of whatever the <laughs> Christ this is, is cherry, yeah. even though it's white. It's G Wondering why it's not red. And then he said fruit punch was red. Yeah. So nothing else can be red. But you never get olive flavored drinks. Yeah. And I think that's because 
all of the well, shit. It's because well, this olive juice doesn't refresh you. That's like salty. But it's also, like a does a cherry bag. refresh you? That's yeah. such a weird what? comment to make because there's That's so many fair. foods that people like that aren't drinkable forms. I love chicken. Mm -hmm. Chicken's not a fruit. soup. Chicken soup is a drinkable I don't think form. Of broth is a drinkable form of chicken. <laughs> True. Touche. Yeah. Have, have you ever My mind is blown. <laughs> <laughs> Can you eat an olive that hasn't been pickled? Would they? Are they is that pickled though? I thought they were in oil. What, is what is, is it, it? Never mind. I don't. Like, uh, is an olive? I don't know if I would qualify olive as a fruit or a vegetable though. Is it olive? Well, the, it's got a bee. stone inside, so it's, it's so a fruit. Is, is it, it a fruit? fruit like a cherry? Yeah. yeah. How I many olives would you need for one serving of fruit? Because you know, it's like get get your three servings this. of fruit a day or whatever it is. Well, I'm feeling like ninety olives, like, Two, a, like jar. three jars of olives. Apparently, you cannot eat them unpickled. Raw. They have to be cooked, yeah. or they have to be pickled. Well, they when kill you when eaten raw. Olives are extremely bitter and, for all intents and purposes, completely inedible. Wait, can or shouldn't? I guess you could, but you shouldn't. Should we do the olive challenge? Yeah, we should get some raw. Is, is it like, because like, what is it? Like almonds will kill you if you eat them raw, right? Uh, Is it almonds? It's like, or cashews or something. One of them. Pistachios it's one, maybe? I it's, think it's one pistachio. of them. Yeah, they'll just fucking straight up kill you if you eat them. You can't even touch them. I think a Brazil oh, nut shell is also bad oh. for you, but you don't eat a shell of that. No. I think Olives are brined. They're brined. Yep, that's what <laughs> I see in chat. Is brining the same as pickling, chat? You can create a pickle know. by brining. I did that once. Okay. But not all oh, pickles what happened are brined. To all your shitty, terrible pickles. They were pickles. terrible. <laughs> they were fucking awful. I, you I ate some of them. Pickles? I made pickles. Yeah. Last Successfully. Year. And yeah. we are worried you were going to get, what, dysentery? Was dysentery. That the, some of them. shit get in there? Salmonella. Apparently, like, if you, if you do it wrong, there's some, like, there could be a really big health risk. Yeah. yeah. Was it, like, listeria or, like,. Oh, syphilis no. or something you were gonna get from <laughs> syphilis, <laughs> some type of thing. Well, regardless, I survived. I love olives. That's, I don't. I I like pickles and everything pickled. I, I love that vinegary flavor. The only pickled thing I will eat, don't at me, is a pig's foot. Mm. But that's just a very southern thing. A mm -hmm. pig's foot. Yeah, like, actual, oh, like a pickled pig's, pig's foot. My grandfather used to love those. Yeah. Like anytime we were at the grocery or at the convenience yeah. store and he saw a jar of pig's feet, he'd yeah. always buy one. Oh yeah, when I was a kid, like my grandma, when we were like babies, would give like she'd like eat one and then like whatever little meat was left, like give it to little babies and you just like what suck do on they, the bone. What do they actually look like? Pig's it's feet? A fucking pig's foot. What do you just eat the, the whole thing? Is it like a? Is it rubbery? Mm -hmm. Pork belly? It's it's actually really yeah, good. It's kind of pork yeah. belly. -y. I forget that that's kind of a regional thing. Y'all yeah. have never seen this, right? <laughs> yeah, I got it. No. But sometimes they're like bright red from whatever they pickled them in. Oh, I'm going to look it up. You guys can talk I've amongst I've never yourselves. seen these. I guess I don't see it anymore, but I remember being a kid and going with my grandfather to the store, and it's like yeah. on the counter of the convenience store, there'd be like a big jar filled with pickled pig's feet, and he'd always be like, oh, that one right there. And he'd yeah. get one, and I'd eat a little bit of it. I don't know if it was necessarily as common at Canadian grocery stores, which maybe I didn't see it as a kid, but I could be yeah. wrong. I could be wrong. Holy shit. Oh, you just fucking suck And they're them. pickled? You yeah. like them, but you don't like olives? I don't like olives, no. I was always a child the last time. Yeah, it's like that, but like r more red. Oh, God. It really is just yeah, a pig's a foot. Yeah. I would try it. I would try it. <laughs> Anything yeah. from if you a say pig it's tastes good. like it's, bacon. Yeah, really. it literally is like, it's like, uh, from what I remember as a child, I haven't had one since I was a literal kid, but it's, it's like pork belly-ish probably. I like trust bacon, you. Like, mm, but how do you get bacon -y? through the hoe? Hooves. You need to eat around it. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> if, it's good. If it's no. good enough, you'll work your, you'll work your way around yeah. it. We Less should than. get some. You guys should eat some on the next episode. We should get some. Now I'm hungry. As, uh, I'm as Justin Bieber says, never say never. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we need raw olives. We need pig's feet. Are yeah. you making the shopping list? I'm looking, we I'm need looking a right bucket now for everyone to throw up into. We should have... Oh, we I should do... I can Instacart some right now. To this podcast this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Omen. Sick of all the randos sliding into your team chat whenever you and your friends are grouped up in your favorite game? Then you need to get your own private oasis, your own paradise in the, well, let's admit it, the wasteland that can be online gaming. Uh, oasis is a free and easy to use add-on for Omen Gaming Hub that creates a virtual room for you and up to 15 of your friends for private gaming and watch parties. But Oasis isn't just any virtual room with low latency screen sharing and seamless audio quality. You can quit worrying about technical difficulties, stop arguing over who has the worst internet connection and get to playing uh, because you can use voice or text chat when you share your screen or play along with someone else's. Oasis is the best way to hang out when you can't, you know, 
hang out. So make sure you have Omen Gaming Hub installed and get the Oasis add-on to build your own gaming paradise. Play together, watch together, chat together, share together, all with Oasis by Omen. Download Oasis on the o Omen Gaming Hub and try out the beta right now. <laughs> I feel like we should have a, an episode of the podcast where we just have like a, a smorgasbord of all types of foods that people hate or love or that's like really... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Divisive. Divisive. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be fun. Do like a little taste test thing. Because maybe like maybe you think you hate olives. But <clears> just... No, I do. Oh. I I've tried <laughs> black olives, green olives. Those are the only two types I think. I think so. Uh, bad. I've had the. My parents love olives. They get them like uh, if you shop at like Aldi, they have like different things they jar them in. Okay. So they're like different flavors, but they all taste like shit because they're olives. <laughs> they're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. Lucky. See, I will get a jar of olives and eat. Just I'll like put a little bowl yeah. and I'll put some olives in there and just eat them like a snack. My roommate just delicious loves she she loves olives and pickles. There's this one brand of pickle that she loves to get and she only gets them like I think she gets them in the Spears yeah Clausens or something yeah. like that yeah. Are those the ones that have to be refrigerated? Yeah, those are the ones yeah. that have to be refrigerated. She fucking loves those and she'll just get like a plate of that and like olives and make like the charcuterie board and I'm just like this is my nightmare. <laughs> if I had to eat this the rest every day the rest of my life I'd kill myself. What are the little shitty little things like tiny pickle knobbly pickle things? Oh yeah, what do they call those? The knobbly pickles. Like, tiny, like, the, the little yeah, one piclets or whatever. They're yeah. And they're what kind of the like <laughs> they're like the more them. they're kind of like um like bumpy. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. I feel like I, gherkins. I, I, Ger is it a gherkin? I think that might be gherkin. This is a pickle. I think a gherkin is just a type of pickle, like a smaller type of pickle. Gherkin is what is what I call what you call pickles. Gherkin it. Um, <laughs> cornich cornichones. That That's sounds the right. thing. Corni cornichones. Now those, I'm I'm okay with. Do you okay. like pickles? Normal pickles? Not really. Okay. You know, like I think there's a correlation here. Do you like pickles, Kayla? No, I hate okay. them. That's, I yeah, think there's a correlation because you like pickles. I, I love, love pickles. pickles. You like Both olives. Like olives. Uh, the the poll for olives, by the way, is forty percent yay, fifty three percent nay. Good. I can't believe it's that lopsided. Wow, yeah. that many people don't like it. I just it. think they're bad for me personally. I don't care for them. Poisonally. Poisonally? Like me poisonally? Nah. Oh man. Absolutely not. Load me up. I like some weird food. Like uh, one of my favorite sandwiches to have is tuna salad with pickles and hot sauce on it. See, I like tuna Delicious. salad with relish, sweet relish. I like sweet isn't, relish. Isn't but relish is pickles, isn't yeah. it? It's sweet. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> no, 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 But it's sweet. But it's sweet. Oh, okay. sweet relish. Sweet Yuck. relish. I love sweet relish. Yuck. You know what fucked me up about coming into Texas? Everything is vinegar and I hate it. Oh. Mm. The barbecue is vinegar. I ate baked beans here for the first time when I was here the first year. And I was like, I spit it out immediately because I was like expecting like sweet, you know, like sweet beans. I hate beans. sweet baked beans though. They're so beans. garbage. They're so good. No, sweet baked sweet beans are the way beans? to go. I agree with you on that. Sweet baked beans, they look the dark, look the molasses baked beans. It's like at Rudy's, the baked beans you get at Rudy's. And then they, they're sweet, yeah, yeah, they're not vinegary. It, it sounds awful, but it's pretty good, yeah. I don't like those. You don't like the baked beans there, not really, okay. They're like, cream like, corn, like, though, <laughs> cream corn's good, cream corn's really good. Listen, if you're ever in Austin, go to Rudy's, you can't go wrong, everything is we're, amazing. We're talking about food, and it made me think about this. I've been watching on Netflix, I've been watching Halt and Catch Fire, which was a show on AMC that I never watched. <laughs> Okay. And they had, it's supposed to take place in Texas. Like most of it takes place in Dallas and yeah. occasionally they, they like go down to Austin for yeah. something. But uh, there was an episode where like one of the characters brings in breakfast tacos for the whole company. He's like, hey everyone, I brought you breakfast tacos. Mm -hmm. he, yeah. the, the breakfast tacos are never front and center in the shot. They're like in the, he like places them on the counter and then walks towards camera. Yeah. Like all the, all the action takes place up towards yeah. close to lens. <laughs> but in the background, you can see he has put down a big plate of crunchy shell tacos, crunchy shelled breakfast tacos, to the point where like a character comes over and like breaks off a piece of the crunchy shell. There's a crunch noise and she like I've, eats the crunchy I've shell. I've never seen that. And I'm like, this mother this motherfucker just brought crunchy shelled breakfast I've tacos. I've never it's seen not a that. Thing. I, I've never seen that I, a day I, in my I, life. Because I think they filmed this show in Georgia. And I think they <laughs> I try to recreate how it <laughs> right. They try to recreate Texas things because every now and then they'll say something. It's like that's not how people here would say yeah. it. They'll or, be like, oh you gotta get on the frontage road. And it's like <laughs> <laughs> it was like, so I think that they just wrote in the script something about breakfast tacos, yeah. and they're like, oh, just like crunchy tacos. Yeah, they just like tacos. <laughs> and it, like, it was, so, it just took me so out of the moment. I was like, I can't. Because to be fair, if, so, if someone says taco, I do think of a crunchy yeah, shell. Yeah, unless they say breakfast taco. Unless they say breakfast yeah. taco, which, if you're not from <clears throat> Texas, yeah. Can you get a crunchy burrito? burrito? Crunchy well, burrito? That's a, that's a, isn't that like a that thing at uh, 
Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I think a burrito a is or something. soft yeah. by definition. Yeah. It's a. It's a. It's a. Can, can you make tortilla. a burrito out of a corn tortilla? I'm sure you could. I feel you like it would shouldn't. simply crumble. No. I feel like you take. You try to roll it, and it just turns to mush in your hands. So flour all the way. Well, the uh, reason uh, that they call it that, the reason they call it a burrito, is that burro is the. Well, I think this is the word. Yeah. I think this is the reason they call it that. Burro. Donkey. Is donkey in Spanish, and I think it's a burrito because it's supposed to be like a rolled up blanket on the back of a donkey, Aww. and that's why oh, they call it that. That's adorable. So, so no, it couldn't be crunchy because you couldn't roll it. Yeah. To answer your earlier question. Soft. And no, I don't think you could do it with corn because, like you said, it would just the structural fall apart. integrity. Yeah, I feel work. like once you get a corn tortilla to a certain size, it's only a matter of time before it starts to <laughs> just disintegrate fully. On mm-hmm. a topic of people liking or disliking certain foods, people who prefer corn tortillas over flour tortillas, yeah, are serial killers. No, yeah. okay, hold on. <laughs> let's be <laughs> let's the be real here. Country of the, both have their places. Corn tor- corn is not good. It's not tasty. Flour hear, is hear me so out. much better. There's, I feel like there are some things that taste better on a corn tortilla. N- nothing. Like what? What? There, the cor- just because the, the corn tortilla it's is so barbacoa. it's so uh, overpowering. If, if you get the 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 the, the ideal preparation that you want to use a corn tortilla is when you go and you get those little tacos that are like this big yes. and you eat like 12 of them. Yes. Then you get like a little corn tortilla that's just filled with like a little bit of uh, marinated meat that's super juicy on mm-hmm. its own. That doesn't, because you, you're right, it can be dry yeah. sometimes if you don't have the correct oh, I filling I think a inside. wet meat is the best. It's, it's, if it's wet but or it's you add flavor. some salsa to it in order to like make it not quite as dry. It's not the dryness I mind, it's the flavor. It's, I don't know, it just like is overpowering. It's like eating grit. I love tortilla chips, this is which is weird flavor. because it's the, the same similar flavor. flavor, but I don't know. You say it's like grits? Grit. Oh. Grit. Grit. Gritty. A single grit. Just one grit. One grit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think I think we need another poll because I'm seeing the chat very yeah, polarized on this. Steffi, Steffi is right. Restaurants here do have bad corn tortillas. Maybe that's what maybe, it is. Yeah, because we're so they're so used to making the yeah. flour ones. Right. The, it, maybe it's like if you had like some homemade good ones that yeah. it would be different. Yeah, most, Muriel makes corn tortillas. Most tor- tortillas that you get in like restaurants yes. and in the store are absolute garbage. They are horseshit. They're and fucking again, terrible. They, they break in your bag before you get home as well. Yeah. <laughs> again, the structural integrity is not there. It's awful. Dust. <laughs> can, we get another, can we get another poll in chat? Can I, I make literally. Why can't I make polls? <laughs> there will be one thing that's like, Barb is so wrong. I've never heard someone so wrong in my life. And the next one will be like, I've never agreed more with Barbara in my whole life. <laughs> why, why can't I make a poll? Slash poll. No. 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 Can we have a poll? Don't Should do Gus <laughs> be able to make that's, polls? Yes or no? That's a really <laughs> shitty board on 4chan. The racist oh. one. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just meant I'm trying to make a poll. Here. That's all. Okay, maybe the word serial killer was a little too strong. <laughs> nah, it was perfect. I prefer <laughs> flour tortillas. No, st- no, stick by your guts. Pole Stand by protocol it. protocol. Speaking. Engage. Chimichanga is I... the hard burrito. Oh, I didn't know that. They're not hard like a crunchy shell taco. Taco. No. They're more like. They have give. They don't crunch when you bite into it. They're like middle ground, I yeah. would say. Like the middle is often yeah. a little bit soaked. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you okay. get the mush. I just did something. No one's making a poll, so I just did something to make everyone mad. Oh, nice. Oh, God. Oh, you're going to break the chat. Oh, no. <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> what's, what's, we I, don't even I, know what that means. I wrote type one for corn, type two for flour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's typing three? It's holding. It's holding, though. Look okay. at it. It's still oh, going. Okay. It's not broken yet. 69. Oh, it's, be, it's struggling. Two was uh, corn or two was flour? Two Gus was is flour. wrong. Two. Don't type in chat. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to crash the site. All like right, 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 right. That's it. Pull, pull, <laughs> you can't go back. You've already I, told him. Chelsea, yeah. we just can't do a poll. Sorry. <laughs> that's what's wrong with us. Sorry. <laughs> hey, you made Chelsea mad. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're all trying. They're all getting mad at me. Gus is wrong. <laughs> Don't type in chat. Pull this close. Give Keep me the ability it. to make polls and I won't do this again. You have 30 minutes to meet my demands. <laughs> Um, so five minutes, about five minutes ago in real time, I became cognizant of the fact that I am not wearing my own pants because I noticed that there was fringe on the leg. Whose pants are those? They're my, they're my girlfriend's pants. I didn't know they weren't mine. <laughs> and oh, I, damn. Because I crossed my legs and I felt the fringe and it scared me and that I looked very, down and I was like, oh shit. They're a little bit Texas, aren't they? Yeah. But it's, the, it's on the wrong end though. Surely you want it on the back. Are you wearing them backwards? <laughs> Why is it on the front? It's supposed to be on the side. It's on the side. Yeah. Oh, okay. I met your girlfriend for the first time a few weeks ago. You did. 
She's you lovely. Did. She's lovely. I like her enough. She's uh, enough to wear her pants. Very yeah. funny. Very quick. <laughs> yeah, she was super quick. Quicker than me. It's upsetting. She's the only person I've dated that's funnier than me. <laughs> I don't like not it. Not allowed. <laughs> it's not allowed. I. Uh, it's funny because I was like, oh, you and Meryl both like your tall blondes. <laughs> I see. Uh, and she is naturally blonde. And if anyone else says otherwise, they're lying. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's not. Gus was gonna say otherwise. No. I was. I, and was, you I should. was about to. Yeah. No. She's a. Uh, horchata, white Mexican. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. It ha- it happens. I it have happens. Uh, I have some uncles or great uncles, I guess, who all have like green eyes. Yeah. And like really light brown, almost red hair. Yeah. Uh, she's got like strange. blue, gray eyes. You'd look weird with green eyes. <laughs> Do you not know what color your you girlfriend's so? eyes are. <laughs> I felt like I should have had them because I have like a lot of the other physical characteristics of them, but I got the brown eyes instead oh. of the green eyes. Nice. It'd be too much. Yeah. It would be too much. Green eyes are pretty rare. Yeah. Aren't they? I feel like they green are. Green eyes are probably the most rare. Yeah. Of the like blue is more common than green. For yeah. Sure for sure. Yeah. For sure. Do you it's have like, the color of eye that you wanted? You know, I didn't know what I wanted before <laughs> I was born. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I've always liked having blue eyes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the coolest color. I like to imagine that when we're born, uh, we are set upon a character selector and we do all of our sliders. But we only have like five minutes. <gasps> so if you're not done. I feel like whoever did mine <laughs> slipped uploads. and hit the nose one a little hard and then <laughs> yeah. submit. It's like it's like when you're playing it's like when you're playing a game, you're like, that's silly, and then you like went to the next one and then time ran out and you're like, oh, that, that. and then just then you came into consciousness and it was like It's flop. like the beginning of Fallout. Fallout yeah. three or Fallout Four. <laughs> yeah. My you know, have you ever seen those videos where it's like um you're creating a person, you're like pouring water into a bowl, <laughs> yeah. like, all right, like sense of humor, like pour mm-hmm. some in, like Impatientness, pour that in. For me, it was like sweatiness. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! This thing's it's, overflowing. It's on the faucet. It's like during the Powerpuff Girls, except instead of like, what is it, Chemical X? Yeah. It's like sweat, sweat, sweat. <laughs> sweaty palm disease. Glands. Yeah, <laughs> sweat glands. Let's give her fifty times more than the normal person. Oh no! How did you ever hold anything? We just. Like, <laughs> it was a struggle all the time. Always a struggle. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That sucks. That does suck. Uh, you know what else sucks? The Harry Potter movies. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Hot takes from Kayla. <laughs> wow. Hear me out. Why do they suck? The Harry Potter movies only make sense if you've read the books. Otherwise, it is just a bunch of random vignettes strung together. I've like, never read the books and they make sense to me. Not like full. Okay. Here's, here's what I mean when I don't okay. make sense. Okay. There are things that happen that you take at face value in the movies. Yes, yes. But if you read the books, they're simply explained to you because you read the books. <laughs> like the entire, my main one, the entire relationship between Tonks and Lupin happens. On, happens. It's just like, oh, they're together, by the way. But there is so much random <clears throat> shit and subtext in the books that it's just like, oh, that was a weird thing that happened for two lines. But also, I also going back there, the books are whatever. Um, there's stuff like, uh, oh, Harry's like a teen dad. No one talks about that. He's the he's the godfather of Lupin and Tonks. Spoiler of Lupin and Tonks' as kid. They both die. Now he's seventeen with a kid. That is never mentioned again until what? maybe the epilogue. Uh, I didn't know that. What else? Everything with Sirius Black. Everything with Sirius Black. There is so much in the books. There is nothing in the films. Or as Gus thinks, it, Snape. Yeah, or as Gus thinks, Snape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like a bunch of like. I feel like you don't get spew. You barely get Rita Skeeter. You might not. It's just so much that happens in the books that I'm like, oh yeah, watching the movies. I'm like, oh, I like this scene because I remember reading it in, in the, the book. book. Oh, but what happens? In the order that things happen in is not linearly a story. It is mostly just a bunch of different scenes from the book strung together what? with a little bit of dialogue that sort of explains things. That makes me angry. Yeah. That makes me not want to watch the movies again. Yeah, you shouldn't. I feel like when, when you have a big franchise like that, you end up just classing them within like, how how good of a Harry Potter movie is this? Yeah. And there's somewhere it's like, that's a good one. But yeah. then if you take them all overall and just look at them amongst other movies, yeah. none of them are very good. No, last one, dog shit. I, I don't even I remember. I recently it. A bunch watched of people it. Get bipped. So bad, yeah. <laughs> I like how we're having this conversation when literally a week ago, Trevor and I were like, "Let's watch all the Harry Potter <laughs> yeah. movies again." Oh, I mean, but, I was. But a, people love these movies. Yeah, I was a huge. Oh, I was a huge. We talked about this a little bit before the show. I was a fucking massive Harry Potter fan. I know too much about Harry Potter. There's too much 
Potter knowledge in my head. I used to like, like I was on like the websites, I was on the forums, I was reading the fan fiction. I have wands, I have inks, I have quills. Which is funny because you said a lot of names in your previous rant that oh, I yeah. mean, I've never. Oh heard yeah, I was, oh, we life. were talking about who was not white at Hogwarts, and I was listing all of the night, <laughs> all of the not white people, and then I went, oh, Alicia Spinette, she was on the Quidditch team, mm. and I went, she might have been biracial, but like in the book or in the movie or both. Can anyone both? Definitely in the books. Yeah. Yeah. Can anyone get the snitch? No, just the seeker. So like if one of the other players happens to catch it, no dice. No dice. Interesting. I think it's just the seeker. But anybody can throw the quaffle? I think anyone can throw the quaffle. What's you could have said quaffle? any word and I went. The quaffle's the ball that has to go through the hoop thingy to get a point. And you get I thought that was the snitch. No, the snitch is the gold <laughs> thing the that you catch one. to end the game, but it doesn't mean you win the game. But the people who catch the snitch usually win because the snitch is worth like 150 points. 150 points. Oh, it's and points? I thought it was so instant win. You have like to a... like do no, it's, 150 it's quaffles to equal one snitch? No, you have to do 15 quaffles because I think each quaffle is worth 10 points. Why, not? why, do, why are there so many? Why don't we just drop a zero from both of these? Is there ever a blue? <laughs> I mean, that we, got, that we got big numbers for the sake of having big numbers here. <laughs> Is there As if a blue sports quaffle? don't do that in general. Well, it, Why is a touchdown it. six points? Because yeah. a field goal is three. See, all no sports makes because sense. Because they're, they're smaller Football numbers. Football makes sense. How you come, score a goal, you get no, one. But sometimes it's a zero-zero game, but someone still wins. That means no one's... What? No. Yeah. Hold on. That, that's a Did I get that wrong? No, a touchdown. Someone still, a touchdown can still win. Yeah. How do you win hockey? With, and then if you get... It's <laughs> an extra point if you kick, but two with, extra points if, if you do a yeah. toss. Okay. See, so it makes sense because they're smaller numbers you're dealing with here. It's not like a touchdown is ten... And a field goal is 30. Or no, but the <laughs> touchdown is 7 and the other one's 6. Why in tennis is it 15, uh, why is it 30? Seven? Why is because there normally love? They kick one. <laughs> why is there love? What, okay. Luna Love good? <laughs> What's love got to do with it? But wait, if, 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 the, if the golden snitch ends Thank the you. game but has a point value, it just yeah. makes the game end. Surely if you're losing by 200 points... Yeah. I don't think you the, can be. You, what? No, you can be. Doesn't the game finish at 150? No, the game finishes when the snitch is caught. But sometimes it doesn't but get caught. But what if it's never caught? Then the game goes on. There's a thing about it about in like the it's track. like cricket. You know, the, yeah. There's a thing about it. Uh, what is it? The the <laughs> the world the Quidditch World Cup where they're like one time a game went on for four months because nobody could catch the snitch. But then the what's the point of the other? Like, what's the point of scoring anything? You want to well, try and score just in case you don't get the snitch because then if you've got two hundred points, they have zero points, but they caught the snitch. It's still two hundred points. Yeah. So if you're two hundred, they're not going to catch the snitch. They're going to wait. They're just going to play defense until they score. Yeah, if you, well, if okay, you're well, points down where, and you're the seeker on that losing okay. team, you what? You're just going to well, sit on your ass and that's wait. That's where the beaters come in because they <laughs> hit, the beaters have bats and there's this thing called a bludger and the bludger is semi sentient, but you can hit it into people to try to knock them off their brooms. So maybe. Uh, if you're like you know doing stuff and you see the seeker and you hit that fucking bludger into him, he can't catch it. Wait, so what? There's what's the uh, the waffle one? What is the other one? Quaffle. That's the that, ball they play with. Also, I, can anyone catch this? Now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, I feel like there was an a scene where Ron catches the snitch in his mouth by accident, and I don't remember if he was a t see. You don't see that in the movie. I don't think. Yeah, he, yeah, I see that. Harry like, is he the seeker? I thought Harry caught it in his mouth. Was he the temporary? Harry caught it in his mouth. There was a scene where Ron is on the Quidditch team and he like does some crazy shit. Only the seeker can catch the snitch. If anyone else <laughs> does, it doesn't count. There we so, go. So can you catch it and give it to the seeker? No. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I seek this o for you. Only the seeker has the right to catch or touch the snitch. There you go. Oh. Any player other than the seeker to do so commits a foul. Can you twat the, the uh, snitch with the... <laughs> with, oh, the bludger, with the yeah. bludger? The foul is called uh, a... Bat. Snitch nip. What if you twat the big ball into the snitch and break it? I don't think it can break. Well, no, it can open because that is also. I hope you're ready after this podcast to be known forever as the Harry Potter girl. Uh, no, that's, <laughs> that's, that's like, I'm not on the OT3 podcast. That's not me. <laughs> Shout out to the OT3 podcast. They're... Check it out. Tuesdays. Right? I remember Ron won a game, but he won it off screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Now I can. It was sleep. like a. It was Risa a whole Reno thing. says Ron was the keeper. The keeper, or that's the, the person. The keeper the is the keeper? person who tries to keep the quaffle from going into the hoop thingy. Okay, so, so goalie. Yeah, they look the goalie. <laughs> I feel like that would be my position if I was playing that sport. Yeah, I feel like. Um. Just because. Yeah, so either lanky. the keeper or like whatever the one called trying to get it in the in the hoop. The spanker. Sure. Yeah, the spanker. <laughs> <laughs> Because they got those paddles, yeah, right? Yeah. 
the kink master. <laughs> the kink master. <laughs> that would be your position uh, if you were there. <laughs> man. But yeah, I haven't thought about Harry Potter in, in several years. Well, and it all came bubbling out. Now we're yeah. all thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my dad was watching one of the movies, which is weird. He just watched, he'd been watching them, but out of order. <laughs> So when I was yeah, so when I was home last, he was watching like the very last one, and I was like, "Why are you doing this? <laughs> Have you seen the rest?" How did Quirrell put Voldemort on the back of his own head? Possession. He Say that name again. Quirrell. Uh, Gavin's. Quirrell. I just like the way he says it. Quirrell. <laughs> Isn't that his name? How do you spell? Put an S at front of that. <laughs> squirrel. Squirrel. Isn't it squirrel without the S? Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> yeah. It was, squirrel. Uh, this episode of the Rusty Podcast is brought to you by Imperfect Foods. Did you know that every year billions of pounds of food go to waste because they don't live up to the strict cosmetic standards of your average grocery store? Well, Imperfect Foods is your not average grocery store. Uh, it's because Imperfect Foods is an online delivery service that brings sustainable, affordable groceries, that is produce, quality protein, eggs, dairy, and pantry staples all straight to your door. They take those imperfect but perfectly good foods that were going to go to waste and bring them to you uh, once you sign up and create your flexible, personalized grocery plan. With Imperfect Foods, it's easy to build better groceries into your routine with scheduled low-emission weekly deliveries that fit your lifestyle, save you time, and help the environment each week. Imperfect Foods gives you the groceries you need without the waste of your average grocery store. It's a win for you. It's a win for the environment. Let's face it. Tomatoes can't live up to this unrealistic standard we've all created for them, right? Uh, and right now, Imperfect Foods is offering our listeners 20% off your first four orders when you go to imperfectfoods.com. Make sure you use promo code ROOSTER. Try Imperfect Foods now. For a limited time, get 20% off your first four orders. Go to imperfectfoods.com. Use code ROOSTER to sign up. That's 20% off your first four orders at imperfectfoods.com. Offer code ROOSTER. I don't know. Well, was squirrel like a uh, was, squirrel? Was squirrel technically a Horcrux? He technically had a piece of Voldemort inside of him. Voldemort I feel like you're him. asking the wrong person. Oh, right, <laughs> right. Looking Never at mind. I'm gonna I go on OT3 the and talk about this. It's okay. Once. <laughs> so when's your Harry Potter uh, uh, podcast launching? Okay, so you're uh, joking. Podcast. You're joking. But this everything I'm saying was part of a conversation that me and people are having at two in the morning, which is the exact right time to have that conversation. Should have recorded it. And I was like, it. we got to make this a podcast. The people need to know. I can count and name. Every single black person at Hogwarts on one <laughs> hand. Why is that? Why is that true? Why is that a thing? Why is Cho Chang's name Cho Chang? Why is every ethnic character named Racy McRacerton? I don't care for it. Why does Cho Chang have two last names? That doesn't make any it's sense. It's almost as like if the person who wrote it yeah, is not has a great never person. Never met a not white person before. Or just not a good person. And is also possibly a transphobe. But who's to say allegedly? Who's to say allegedly? <laughs> asterisk. 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 <laughs> oh man, I um, I did something kind of dumb the other day. What'd you do? I I, the, I I was trying to turn my TV on the other day and oh well first of all I guess I should give you some quick backstory my TV recently broke okay and I had to buy a new one did you, something happen or just like it just one day it just didn't turn on anymore oh. it sucked Mood. Um, same wish that were me but uh, luckily the I actually <laughs> I complained to the manufacturer and they gave me some credit to buy a new TV which they totally <laughs> oh, didn't have to do okay. but they did so I bought a new TV and uh, the other day I went and I turned it on and it wasn't turning on. I was like, oh, shit. So uh, I unplugged it from the wall <laughs> for a few seconds, plugged it back in, went back to my remote. I've got one of those like Logitech Harmony Universal remotes. P tried to turn it on, wouldn't turn on. I was like, oh, no, it's happening again. Went and unplugged it for like 30 minutes. I was like, really going to let it power off. Plugged it back in, went back to my remote, turned it on, wouldn't come on. I was like, fuck. I got another TV that's broken. It's not turning on. Then I was like, wait a minute. What if it's the remote that's broken? So I went and I found like the, the remote that came with the TV and I hit the power button on it and the TV turned on. And I was like, I just spent like half an hour trying to figure out if my TV was broken, but it's my remote. So I Is that what was wrong with your the original old one TV? Too? No, it was not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that's what you were getting at. But Jeez. so I had to re I rebooted my remote, then everything worked. It was like, what a fucking stupid problem that my remote crashed. And had to be rebooted. Wait, some stuff shouldn't be smart. Yeah, I don't think things should be. I think yes, yeah, some stuff is smart and shouldn't be. Cause like I have smart, I have smart lights that are dumb smart lights. They're not the Philips Hue because I'm poor. Um, but like, <laughs> how are they dumb? Are they? Because you can't, uh, you can't sync them to stuff, and that's all I really ever want. Oh. Um, but like, if you're if you like change your Wi-Fi password, you have to like redo oh. all of them. Yeah. And that just made me not do it. So now I just have like smart lights I paid for that I refuse to reboot. Dude, the wow. la last week my internet went offline oh, no. one night 
and it was like out from like 6 p.m. until the next morning when I woke up. So I couldn't turn on and off lights in my house because <laughs> they're all like internet connected bulbs. And like it's all co controlled through my phone. Yeah. And I would like tell my phone, like, turn the living room on. It's like, sorry, I didn't hear back from your devices. Like, uh, oh. oh, no. Wait, so like, isn't the, point the switch of, still works, though, right? The switch still works. But I have to like get up and turn them on and off. Yeah, but, but you can't control the intensity. If you turn them off and on, yeah. then they just like turn on in a default. Yeah. So it's like, oh, the color temperatures are yeah. all wrong. Yeah, I hate mm -hmm. mine because they cycle through the temperatures every time I turn them on and off. So I'm just like, day, no. Cool, no. Cozy, yes. Oh, you have to like turn like the switch on yeah, and off like, and on. If well, if I haven't resynced them to the internet, yes, <laughs> because I'm lazy. Yes, absolutely. I Fuck. thought the whole point of that Zigbee shit though is that you don't need the internet for it to communicate internally. I, that's what I thought too. Well, you have to have the hub for that. Yeah, I have. I have a hub. Oh, I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, it was. It just wouldn't <laughs> turn on. Oh, but I had. So I have like a little puck. Yeah. That has like buttons you can program on it. <laughs> the puck still worked. So anything I had pre-programmed onto my puck, which was like. You my bedroom lights, because <laughs> yeah. nobody I don't want to get out of bed to turn yeah. the lights off. <laughs> like those all still turned on and off with the puck, but nothing else worked. That's huh. hilarious. Yeah. My, fa uh, my favorite thing is not knowing how technology works and just looking at a light bulb and being like, "How do you have a Wi-Fi? How <laughs> yeah. do you have a Wi-Fi? How do Wi-Fi? <laughs> it's well, Wi-Fi is teeny, isn't it? Wi Wi-Fi teeny, no C, <laughs> but how? But router big. Still no C, light bulb tiny, why Wi-Fi? Where Wi-Fi? I think it's, it's probably in that the part. Instead of the filament, there's Wi-Fi? Like, you know where you screw little, it in? Yeah. It's like just above there, I think. Like, like in that little metal base ring yeah. part? I learned yeah. that on a lot of Apple stuff, mm. the Wi-Fi antenna is the Apple logo. Because it's the only part that isn't metal. So you don't shatter that. Yeah, I think, well, that's maybe not in that one. But like in an iMac, I think that's the Wi-Fi adapter. Really? Yeah. I've got the Sammy, so where's that at? <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Samsung. Yeah, it's real pretty. Yeah, it's a, let me it's see kind it. of shiny. Whoa. I think I think we're at a turning point in technology where we need to start keeping old shit. Yeah. We need. Um, I bet in future it's going to be impossible to do anything without the maker of it letting yeah. you do it through the internet. Oh yeah. right. Oh, kind of like, did you hear about that treadmill that yes. for safety reasons? They locked everyone out of being what? able to turn on their treadmill to See, just yeah. to run. I hate that. You need a subscription to use your multiple thousand dollar who, who, treadmill. Was it a Peloton treadmill? Yeah, yeah and I a think Peloton? it's because a Peloton. Peloton. I think yeah, it was, fuck those guys. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because it like sucked a kid up our and sponsor. killed it. Yeah. Oh. But if you pay twenty bucks a month, it won't suck kids up. No, apparently <laughs> they put it in. It's like. Oh well, a kid won't be able to, you know, activate a subscription. Or yeah, whatever. if you have or a Peloton and you're paying a subscription, you can't afford to also have a kid. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. don't. I don't want to be other. at the point <laughs> later in my life where I can't afford to use the shit that I own yeah. anymore because of. It I, can I, 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 I'm, them. Like I'm never going to throw any, away any technology. Like, what if they make it so that you can't play a DVD? <laughs> yeah, I think about in that twenty constantly. years time without yeah. like a membership to something. That's literally everything. Like, I have a I have a OG like uh, Oculus Quest. Yeah, and I was thinking about upgrading mm. to the Quest too because it's like better graphics and like a bunch of other shit. But a you have to have a Facebook account because they bought Oculus. Yeah, and you have to, and they're like adding ads to it, and you can't like, like in the goggles. Yeah, itself, like, no, like in the games. So you see ads. There's ads. There's gonna be ads in the games, and then on <laughs> top of that, like you can't, like you can like uh, jail, like you can basically jailbreak apps and stuff, and yeah. like put your own things on there. You, can, it's harder to do with the two because there's so much more like prison tech. I'm calling it prison tech. I don't know what you actually call it. Prison <laughs> you can't tech jailbreak it. Yeah, you can't jailbreak it because there's too much prison tech, and I'm just like, this is all bad, and it's all going to a bad place, and I don't like it. Dude, what and the if hell? so, yeah, and like that's why I don't buy digital games because so, like, what if they just stop supporting it one well, day? Even with like physical Damn. movies, yeah. like you, you don't own anything about it really. No. You just have like a reusable license for the movie. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what is stopping a movie studio from just. Locking everyone out from all those yeah. licenses I, and expiring them and just I, being like, now you need to pay to watch your movie. I don't movie. know if you all remember this, but there was a brief period of time in, I want to say the late 90s or early 2000s, where there was a competing standard to DVDs. I think they were called DIVX discs. Where DIVX, <laughs> yep. You could, like a DIVX box? D-I-V-X. Oh. And you would buy them. And from the time you open them, you could only use them for like 48 hours. Like, because, a, dispos like a physical disposable red box? Right. Because after like 48 hours, like it would oxidize and the disc wouldn't be readable by That's your player wasteful. anymore. Right. So it's like, you, so it's like you say, it's an expiring license. Like yeah. you have two day, a two day license for this movie and the, as soon as you open it. And then after that, 
Yeah, I think companies just want you to lease their stuff yeah. for the amount it costs to buy it anyway. Yeah, because yeah. I've looked at Tyler sent me the story here about the treadmill. It's a $4,000 treadmill that needs Fuck. a $39 a month subscription. A month. I would be all for a subscription-based treadmill sure. if I got the treadmill for, for like $50 right. or $4, something. $4,000 sounds like a, a free. Yeah, that's it more free. expensive than a 24-hour fitness membership. Yeah. And you just get a treadmill. And in you have to pay house. $4,000. Hear me out. Buy a Nordic track or whatever. <laughs> Seriously. Anything. Anything. Besides, I, that's the dumbest shit I've ever I heard. I fucking hate that. So, um, I hate that so much. This episode of the Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Credit Karma. Sick of waiting for your interest to roll in and looking for some instant gratification? Well, Credit Karma is a brand new checking account where you can win cash reimbursements just for making purchases. When you use your Credit Karma money debit card, you can win daily instant karma purchase reimbursements on items up to $5,000. Just pay with your debit card, and if you win, you'll be notified on the spot, and your instant karma cash will be added back to your spend account. Credit Karma Money has already given away over $3 million in instant karma to over 50,000 members. Open your FDIC-insured spend account for free. There's no minimum balance requirements, no overdraft fees, and free withdrawals from a network of over 50,000 ATMs. Right now, visit creditkarma.com slash winmoney to open your free account. Start winning instant karma. Go to creditkarma.com slash winmoney to sign up for free. Start winning instant karma. That's creditkarma.com slash winmoney. Instant Karma is sponsored by Credit Karma. No purchase necessary. Exclusions and terms apply. See rules. Banking services provided by MVB Bank Incorporated. Member FDIC. Maximum balance and transfer limits apply. You're talking about the like the Oculus Quest and needing yeah. a face, Facebook account. I deleted yeah. my Facebook account a couple of years ago, and I'm so happy yeah. I did because fuck Facebook. Oh, yeah. Um, them. They suck. But they sell, the a, they, suck. They, they sell a version of the Oculus Quest 2 that you can use if you don't have a Facebook account. Yeah. Uh, but so the normal price for the Oculus Quest 2. $2.99. Yes. If you don't have Facebook, seven ninety nine. What? An extra five hundred dollars? God, I want to. <laughs> I want to break into Mark Zuckerberg's house and just gently fart on his face. I hate him so much. Did you see that <laughs> interview? <laughs> Nothing makes sense. Did you see that Roger Waters? Uh, he, he's an old musician. Okay. Roger Waters was on a you panel. You saw my eyes glaze over. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, talking about he was uh, in Pink Floyd. Like, if you know any know Pink Floyd them. songs. Yeah. Pour Some Sugar? Is that them? No. No? Close. That was uh, Def Leppard. Uh, but uh, Animal. Another Brick in the Wall. Or, I was thinking Pink Leopard. Mm. Pink Panther. That's where I got my my wires crossed. Sorry. <laughs> continue. He, um, Dave Letterman. He, he, was do, he was doing a panel, <laughs> and he shows he shows up angry to this panel. He's, he's got, like, a piece of paper in his hands, and uh, he's, he, like, addressed the panel. He's like, do you all know what this is? Of course you don't. It's a letter I got in the mail this morning. It's like, okay, really hostile way to start this. He says, it's a letter from Mark Zuckerberg personally to me, and he's asking if he can license the song Another Brick in the Wall for an Instagram commercial. And I just want to go on record as saying, fuck Mark Zuckerberg. You you can't have my music. I already have tons of money. You can't buy me. (laughs) It's it's so angry. I love that. I love that energy. I think we should all have that energy. (laughs) But if he came back and was like, all right, I'll give you $10 billion for it. Do you think he would? Roger Waters even said, he he said th- he's offering me a lot of money for this song, so I don't think it was ten billion dollars worth, but I'm sure he was offered. Yeah, but how Ima- much is your like dignity worth? No, at that but like point? imagine being when the you're... one person that the one thing in the world that Mark Zuckerberg can't buy. Right. It's like yeah, I love granted, that. Roger Waters already has a lot of money, yeah. so it's easy for him to say, "No, I'm not going to yeah. take the money." Yeah, me, I have no spine. Take yeah. the song. Give me the money. I wouldn't take the money only because <laughs> not because I don't like money. Love money. Only motivated by money. Only. Only. But I hate. Zuckerberg him so much. I hate billionaires so much. Have you heard I I've probably said this on the podcast, so I apologize to the people watching, but I want to tell Kayla. Yeah. Uh I don't know if you've seen this, but they were going through the statistics of like each generation and how much of the world's wealth they hold. Oh, My I know not the world, the US yeah. population. Millennials okay. hold I think it was like four point two percent of all the wealth. That tracks. Um two percent of that. Yeah. So almost half. Mark Zuckerberg. Just Mark Zuckerberg. God, we should all paddle him. <laughs> Isn't that so? The rest of the millennials in the fucking United States. Yeah, every, are... All of them. An entire generation of people. <laughs> this is what... Is it, uh, can Why I... don't we just change the name <laughs> of the millennials to millennials just, and Mark Zuckerberg? And Mark Zuckerberg. He I be in his own just character. feel like I have a lot of thoughts about socialism. <laughs> <laughs> And I also have a lot of thoughts about guillotines, and it's fine. Well, if there's so, one just, thing our pod, our podcast audience loves, it's politics. So let's get into it. Also, also they know that we're never it. wrong about anything we say. No. I never have to make corrections, like the fact that the Oculus Quest 2 for $7.99 is the business edition. That's why 
So it's for developers. Oh. That's why it doesn't require the uh, Facebook login. So it's That's a, also it's ostensibly a loophole. why it's more. Right. Oh, mm. sure. Mm -hmm. So not really a, con a consumer product. Yeah. Correct. Fuck them. Thank you, Peter H., for correcting me. Still stupid. Still stupid. <laughs> I was going to say, too, before we get too far away from that topic, yeah. um, you know Nest thermostats? Yeah. Some people, when they get them, could opt into... Yeah, the like, smart thing. The smart things. Yeah. That, that's like, I think... It gets you a discount. On, yeah. It gets you a discount on your monthly thing by signing up for the smart thing. Where they could, like, <coughs> monitor adjust it, it a little yeah. bit yeah. to... Wait, what are you talking about? The it's... I don't know so if it's the city or, or something so you, essentially changes your temperature yeah. for you. You opt in with your power provider yeah. Yeah. where during peak load times, they can modify your thermostat yeah. to so that you're not using as much energy. So but it's like, you get like 10 bucks off a month or some shit like that. Right. Yeah. So it's like an incentive. But yeah. guess what happened the other week when ERCOT, <laughs> oh, yeah. our friends ERCOT, Fucking ERCOT. Uh, asked people to preserve energy in the city. Guess what happened to people with who were opted into that? Their oh thermostats boy. were at like 80 degrees. Yeah, they were set at 80 and they couldn't change it. Like, they couldn't change they it. They not couldn't change it back down? No. Yeah, they that's to, like, the same thing. Yeah, where people are control. going in to opt out, which I also think takes two months to opt out. Oh, it's not even on the oh. thermostat? No. It's like you have to your log into your, company, yeah. your website where you pay. You have to go to a little thing that you signed up on. You have to opt out and it's like, this could take up to two months. Now, I feel like in a way that's good. Say they could control the houses if you said you were out. Like yes. if you were on vacation yeah. for two weeks. I would think put it makes mine sense on eco for that. I do that. Yeah. But yeah. to not be able to just there and then no. be like, oh, I'm here. No. <laughs> I'm living here yeah. right now. Turn it back. <laughs> nope. We need to make everything dumb again. <laughs> yeah. Everything Let's dumb, oh. dumb the world. <laughs> dumb lights. Literally, Jess messaged me about that and she was like, she sent me the article and she was like, it's Jessica Vasami? Uh, no, Jessica Lana, my Lana. roommate. Uh, she. Because our thermostat, uh, well, first of all, our house has never been upgraded ever, which is fine. Um, <laughs> but we 50s. have like a, like, it's not even like a button thermostat. It's like a slidey one. Mm -hmm. oh. Front falls off all the time. There's a mechanism in there that like, it's just, it's fucked. And I was like, hey, at least they can't hack that. Yeah. Because I can't even make it use use it normally. So it's <laughs> hey, with my own two hands. With my own two hands. And that's fine. And that's better than someone coming I, in and putting it on 80. I yeah. remember oh, like yeah. being a kid and not knowing how thermostats work. And I remember <laughs> like at one point I took the cover off the thermostat in the house yeah. I grew up in. So I was like, how does it know? Because it's got like a little temperature yeah. thing. Like it knows what the temperature is in here and it knows when to kick on. The so like coil? Yeah, it's just yeah. like a coil of metal yeah. that expands or contracts depending yeah. on the temperature. It's like... But That's only all the, it is? It's only in that room. Right, also, only right at that my, spot. Okay, my room is at the front of the house. My room is always 20 degrees hotter than the rest of the house. It can be freezing in our, like, living room. When I go in my room, it is it is, it is outside, basically. Is it your sucks. computer in there? Yeah, but it doesn't run it. Like, I'm, it's not, it's like, like, like from the laptop, computer. Right? It's, like, from... I have windows, and I'm, like, sunward facing, so the sun is at my window Does all Does uh, control your windows? Yeah, they do. Actually, <laughs> they, make, they make me keep them... They make me keep them closed year-round. <laughs> See, I have the opposite problem. Uh, Too cold. Where Trevor's room is always hot, and so he'll, like, put the AC on. And, like, I would rather him be comfortable and me be a little cold because yeah. I can just put a sweater on. But he's, like, streaming and doing all sorts of stuff with a Chima Hunter. And so he puts the AC on to the point where, like, his room feels normal. The mm -hmm. rest of the house is an ice box. Frozen. Yeah. I'll be, like, in my yeah. room, like, freezing. Yeah. See, that's me. I'm icing Jess out because yeah. I'm trying to get my room below 80 degrees. At a normal <laughs> livable temperature. Yeah. Apparently with Nest, I haven't tried this out yet. I think, Gus, you told me about this, how you could put sensors mm -hmm. on different rooms. I was, I was about rooms. to remind you of that, yeah. And you could say, like, okay, I want it to be, like, yeah. an average temperature <laughs> but here. But well, just going to make sure that they go by the hottest <laughs> rooms, to, or the coldest rooms temperature and fuck all the rest of the rooms. Hot. I, I like, I used to have a Nest thermostat. I really like the way it feels. It's to use so it. It's like, clack, 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 yeah. clack. I love the tick. It's so good. It's very satisfying. Good handle. But why can't you just buy... Like a, sh a dumber one and put it wherever. You know, like you, if you smartify your lights, you just stick a light switch on a wall just with like, like yeah. a proxy? whatever. Yeah, like why does it have to be? But you can't buy it without it having to be wired into like thermostat wires. Oh. And I know you can like just do it on your phone. Yeah. But sometimes you don't want to if I'm in bed, yeah. I'm, I'm going to either get up and go and do it. Yeah. Or I'm going to like, let's get the app, wait for that to load a little bit and then turn it down. <laughs> wait for that to, uh, yeah. there we go. But why can't I have a little identical I circular thermostat it. on my bedside and just go bleep, bleep, and all it would need to do is Wi-Fi to the other one. Yeah. It would be... I like the it fact that it's not convenient enough on your no, phone. No, it's not about <laughs> convenience. Look, we live in 2021, all right? We, we could build this. Oh, we, have to click. we could build this. I think but we could. the thing is, right, get this. 
the European nest, well, the, Eng the England nest. Okay. The I guess all the wiring is different. doesn't work at all. The nest. So you have a separate thing that wires into all your thermostat cabling. Mm -hmm. And then the nest is a wireless thing. And you can have it on a table. Really? So why don't they just do that for if you want it? Sell a really dumb, shitty one. Yeah. Why don't like they do that? Forty bucks. Because they hate So us. I can yeah. have a thermostat on my bedside Thanks, table. Thanks, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> Thanks, Peloton. <laughs> you know what? Uh, also, you... Elon Musk. Let's just throw him in. Yeah. Sure, and Joe Rogan, not the billionaire, I think, but fuck him anyway. All these, all these people. Allegedly. Local Austinites. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, they're all, they're all here. Oh my Unfortunately. god, I forgot about that. Ugh. I was gonna ask Gab if you have a, a smart home device of any sort, like a. Google or Echo. Oh, like a Ugh. assistant thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I still have a, yes, one. Because you could technically, I think, through your app, hook your uh, nest up to that and, uh, and say, like, hey, so-and-so, turn the yeah, house yeah. down Only to this temperature. Only if it works with Google. Like, Siri yeah. doesn't work. With that, yeah. Some of them, them are not compatible. They hate each other. Like, I think, is Nest, like, Alexa? It's Google. It's so Google? I think it can work with Alexa. It does. Yeah. But not can with, confirm. like... <laughs> I just, I, 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 I unplug most of those that I had because I just realized I never use them. I don't like yelling stuff out in... I love it. Oh, it's my favorite. Oh, I, I use them. one as a timer in the kitchen. That's, that's what I do I for my... The biggest use of smart lights I have is when we're both, me and Trevor, going to sleep, and we go, so-and-so, turn off the yeah. lights. My and then favorite, it just goes, my favorite, everybody put your headphones on. Uh, I just like to go, hey, Google, can I get a nightlight? And it's just like, me. Except the bad thing is. Uh, that it's listening all the time and it's, selling your data. It's listening all the time, selling my data. But uh, my roommate's cat's name is Gogo. So if I'm like yelling at the cat or talking to the cat, she's like, I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that. And I'm like, why are you listening? Like, yes, like the other day, uh, Gogo was doing a bad thing Go -Go. in my room. She was scratching like my ottoman. And I said, Gogo, what the fuck are you doing? And then the Google Home was like, wow, no need to like use that kind of tone. <laughs> <laughs> if, there, if there's something wrong, like we can work through that. Like she's like basically was like, don't fucking talk to me like that. And I was like, hey, hey, Google, I, I'm sorry. I was talking to the cat, not you. And she Why was like, you get the okay. fuck out of here. I'm talking to the cat. <laughs> I don't know. It was if, very off. I don't know if the Google that. will do this, but if anyone here or at home has an Amazon Echo, I won't say the name because yeah. it'll trigger it. Didn't you just say the name? No, you have to say her name. Oh, the, her, her name. I see what yeah. you're Although some people call some it people Echo, Echo, so yeah. that might have triggered it to some extent. But did it again. Go up to it and say, "Whisper this name, fart for me." Whisper that to your Amazon Echo. Does it have to be a whisper? It sh it doesn't have to be, but it should be because oh, okay. it's more funny. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will film it for you guys Please and do. send it to you tonight. It TikTok. is the best feature of that device, most useful. Oh. Feature as well. <laughs> There's also that thing that they turned on, I think, unless you opt out, where it will take some of your Wi-Fi. Yes, the Alexa sidewalk or the Amazon yeah. sidewalk shit. That's and I think what it's doing, it, it's trying to create a network of, yeah. I think it's for smart devices. Yeah, they're, they're making but, like but, a mesh. But other, but every, it's like public, so yeah. everyone can use everyone's. Oh, I should, I don't, know, I don't really know what it's It's doing. really bad. Yeah, so basically that's like, if you have an Amazon account, it's too late to opt out. We were given three weeks to do it. It ended like two weeks ago. Uh, basically, if you have like <laughs> Amazon like items like on the Wi-Fi, basically if you're like, if we were neighbors and you have an Alexa and I've got like a ring light or some shit, I can extend the Wi-Fi connection from the ring light. It, like maybe my router is here, but the light's over there. So it'll siphon off some of your Wi-Fi to make my back camera like connected more. Awful. It's Everyone's bullshit. I Everyone's opted devices out of that. Oh, all ASAP. connected together. Yeah. Oh, but the way that well, they pitched the internet, it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the way they pitched it though was so manipulative because they were like, let's say that your dog is chipped and he's got like the Alexa chip or whatever, and he gets lost using the Amazon sidewalk feature. He'll ne he'll never like get off the grid, so you can find them no matter how isn't far away it gets Apple from the house. Do with the, uh, Air the find, uh, find, find your my, phone. Isn't yeah, that yeah. what yeah. AirTags use? The Find but Me they, network. They don't use Wi-Fi. They use like. Uh, Bluetooth yeah. to like Which locally connect to each Apparently other. Apparently, they also alert you. I think this is just Ugh. if you have an iPhone. If there's a AirTag that's near you, that's not yours. Yeah, yeah. If it's traveling, if with it's you. traveling with you. But I feel like it. it I I, they still need to work out the kinks on that. Yeah. Because if I remember right, at least when it launched, the way that it alerts you is it doesn't tell you till you arrive home. With no. It. Ew. Ew. It's like, yeah, it's like, Ew. It's, it's too late now. <laughs> no. Exactly. <laughs> like you don't they've have to breached. Try. Right. <laughs> like it should tell you maybe like. When it happens, or when you go faster than ten miles an hour, or something like once uh, you're obviously, or if it's been with you for a mile, yeah, right, or something. That's disgusting. It's like a parasite. 
you know, it's like, oh, now that you're home, you brought a tracking device players, with you. Yeah. Yeah. The, world, the world is becoming a very convenient yet simultaneously icky place for yeah. tech where it's just like, no one truly knows what any of their shit it's is capable no. of. It's only going to get ickier. Except for the bad people. The bad people know exactly what it's capable <laughs> of and they're using it and weaponizing it against us. They're, Have they're, you... Sorry, if you want to talk about some old tech and like the shit I used to be afraid of, I used to be like super conspiracy theory yeah. kind of person. Um, there was this, there was always this rumor, it was never confirmed, that there used to be this device that, um, that spy agencies had that mm -hmm. was, that they would call Tempest. Oh. And what you would do is, or the concept behind it is, you, if you think about, like, the way old CRTs used to work, like televisions and computer monitors, it's an electron <laughs> gun that's pointed at the screen that just shoots over and over yeah. and hits the screen and activates the, the screen so that you see graphics. The thing is, the electrons don't just stop at the screen. They continue by past you. No. So the theory behind Tempest was it could collect all of these scattered electrons and then reform them down onto another screen so that people seated out past behind you, like down the block, could gather everything back and then reform it onto a new screen. It's essentially like screen sharing on you without you knowing because they're just taking random electrons out of the air. But wouldn't it have a cut out of your head? What yeah. <laughs> it would be blocked, of course, by some stuff. I don't like that. But, I mean, theoretically, electrons could pass all the way through you. Uh, I don't know enough about science. Welcome to the RT podcast, to. where none of us do. I feel like that's like, do you guys remember like a while back where it was like that? It was either like a subreddit or like a 4chan board of people, and they were playing, it was like they were calling it like, sims or something like that but basically they had hacked into people's like smart home stuff oh, no. and were like Fuck. monitoring like families and shit through cameras and they'd be like this is what my family did today and it was very creepy ew ew yeah ew. it was bad yeah it was bad i hated it I that was so nightmare fuel that kept there, me from getting a smart device there, for years there was a, a presentation <laughs> at defcon it's a, like a security um conference i think Good it's held name. in las vegas every year uh there was a presentation god probably like 10 years ago now i think we talked about it on the podcast when it happened Someone went up and did a presentation called uh, I Ordered Your Girlfriend a Pizza. Uh, and he talked about how easy it was to steal everyone's personal information that he just set up like a fake Wi-Fi hotspot there at the Stop. convention center. I'm so afraid of that. Yeah, and then stole everyone's data and then picked like one person at random from the audience and ordered a pizza to their home. See, it, while they were there without them knowing it. See, it doesn't help because, like, I feel like every no airport Wi Fi is ever just like this is the airport you're at, it's named Wi Fi. Right. Like in Atlanta, it's called like Boingo. Right. Boingo is just a, I think, a yeah airport mm. internet service But hear me out. Right. Just call it airport I'm at Wi-Fi <laughs> yeah. and then lock it. <laughs> right. Please just do that. But well, even then it doesn't matter. You yeah. could, someone could just make a fake uh. account, a fake hotspot that's called Boingo or a fake hotspot that's called yeah. free airport Wi-Fi. I never connect to Wi-Fi at the airport specifically for that reason. I do all the time. I think you, only on my work computer because no. If you absolutely have to well, use the internet. While at the airport, yeah. I would suggest you know, buying a day pass at a lounge. That's true. And you know what using... else could help you? What? Our friends at ExpressVPN. Oh, <laughs> natural segue. No, no, I'm not doing a read. I'm just oh. reminding you. A VPN does help you in those, <laughs> yeah. in those instances. It's true. It's true. I got a year of it. I'm very excited to activate it one day. <laughs> when we start traveling free, again. Yeah. You got it for free? Yeah. Just don't. Uh, <laughs> next, skills, time, next, maybe. next time you connect to a Boingo. Gavin, I think you could do. Yeah. I think you. I think you could do. We have right, a right, connection. Yeah. All right, chill out. <laughs> I'm breaking promises. I yeah. can't keep. You want? You want three months? Three, three months? months? Three months? <laughs> three sign months, up for sign up for a year. You get three months, three months free. Yeah, that's what I that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I never take the free thing because I'm never in the ad reads. I never do any ad reads, so it just <laughs> feels disingenuous to be like, yeah, I'll take that thing for free and then do no work towards. Yeah. <laughs> but then people look at you and they're like, that guy Express VPNs. That guy, yeah. that guy knows what's up. Yeah, he VPNs. We were, <laughs> we were talking. Before we were talking earlier today, we had like a, a chat going on on Slack. Uh, I don't know how it came up initially, but Kayla was asking when what vaccine people got and when their second <laughs> dose was administered. I was like, is and I, I wondered, it's like, is that a feature on like dating apps it yet? Be. It's like you can match with other people who oh. have the same <laughs> vaccine. Oh. So, can I tell you something horrid? Okay, so in the queer community, there's this dating app called Lex. The way it functions is like how like classifieds were where there's like no pictures just like title and then like uh topic or what the fuck mm -hmm. ever so it's like title body and then you can like reach out to them and you can connect your instagram but you don't have to okay um it's a, it's it's the worst app i've ever been on it's <laughs> so good for like i don't i hate to say this like cringe content because sometimes it's just like oh you're 35 don't call yourself a small bean oh, uh no. <laughs> now i'm gonna download this just to it's go so through good. it it's so good 
Um, but like a lot of people are in there, and it's just like like vaccinated top sleek seek slutty, slutty bottom to make like whatever. It's like really. It's just. It's I just hope like it's an unvaccinated slutty yeah, bottom. Basically. Like like women, femmes, and non-binaries. Basically, I wow. think you, like gay men can can be on there, but it's very much heavily targeted towards like the lesbian. Non-binary gotcha. community. Yeah. Whereas Grinder is strictly like gay men. Gay men, right? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't but sure yeah. if, if it was <laughs> yeah. anything else. It, yeah, it's just like ooh, I guess like I got my second shot of the Moderna vaccine today. Who wants to do some impact play in two weeks? I'm just like, eh. what? <laughs> <laughs> that was me Swipe scrolling up. up, not swiping right. <laughs> oh, I'm glad for no. the clarification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, you uh, you can like a message, and then if they like, and then you can also like message them in their inbox as okay. well. And after it's, having matched or before, before you can just like message people. That seems it's dangerous. Horrifying. Yeah, yeah, you don't want that. It's a bad feature. There's nothing it's like not getting communication app. from someone who you don't want communication. No, from. exactly. <laughs> My favorite thing about that app though is such a small app. Really weird. It started as an Instagram page that then became an app. <laughs> yeah, it started as an Instagram page where they would be like, send me your personal, like send me is your it picture called Lex, and your profile. You yeah, Lex, your picture and your profile, and then they post it on this inst- Instagram page. So it'd be like. Kayla, twenty whatever. I'm not gonna know my age. Uh, twenty whatever. Uh, Tech Austin. And then I would be like, I like puppies and blah blah blah. I'm blah, a little blah. bean. Yeah, I'm a little dollar bean. Blah. And then like, uh, <laughs> if people and it's like, here's my Instagram thing. DM me. And that's like what it was. And they turned it into a whole thing. And it's bad, but it's funny, but it's bad. <laughs> oh man, I'm looking at their Instagram page now. Yeah. I mean, like, first glance, I'm like, this is awesome. Like, no, it's a they inclusive. Did a, they did it. Outdoor voices like wow. collab last week yeah like they did like they did like uh parties in like three cities with outdoor voices which is insane to me i guess it's like the app could have good intentions with the people on the app <laughs> trash they, 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 they raised uh 1.5 million dollars yeah. in uh seed funding yeah uh, wow. last july good it's crazy um lesbian dating apps never work though her rip it's probably still active but it sucks um i remember when i came to austin they had like one of the first months i was in austin they had like a a warehouse party and it was like oh, me my two friends and then like six other lesbians and this empty hangar and i was like oh this sucks oh my god <laughs> and it's not oh, like it? The- yeah it was uh-huh. empty they had like four couches the couches were filled and then god, just like two like- people like holding disgusting <laughs> drinks just like standing up against the wall how long we did were, you stay we stayed too long because the dj was really good oh there you go <laughs> yeah the dj was really good so we had a blast it's like having your own private hangar to party yeah. in. Oh God, God, that's my nightmare, showing up to, like, a social thing and there's only, like, a handful of people. Yeah. Oh, it was awful. Can I... I just want to say, Ugh. I'm not exaggerating about the amount of times that kink was brought up. I'm. This is the first post... When I just opened the app. This is the first post. Fluster me. Curly-headed chatterbox in search of femtop top who can shut me up. I take orders and floggers well and love to serve. Genderqueer and currently exploring my boyishness and boyishness in subspace let's imagine a new world into being but in the meantime play with the power dynamics we've got also That's i love the rooster teeth what? podcast i watch it every single monday yeah oh <laughs> <It's Uh-oh. hard. laughs> so yeah it's um it's a horny app huh. <laughs> like, i'm not yeah, reading what? that one. <laughs> oh my god yeah. oh wow okay <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, ch- hey, if chat go download it. It's very <laughs> listen. I mean, there's something fun. for everyone. Yeah, literally. Yeah, I hope they sponsor us one day. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, you you've got us a, yeah. a foot in the door. Yeah, you got you already you're, you're already giving it away for free though. Word of mouth. Well, Can maybe I'll do a good testimonial if they pay us. You got to bad mouth them. Like <laughs> like maybe Mark Zuckerberg will pay us to, yeah. sh- to make you stop to be fair for ten thousand dollars a month you can buy my silence. There's so much cringe on every dating app. Yeah, like I feel like that's but this just is part of the course. Yeah. I've never used one. You've been like yeah, married for have. seven years, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, how long have you guys been dating now? Yeah, since 2013. So almost eight years. Seven years. Yeah. I was. But the dating apps, cool. they were already, over, I mean, that was like okay, Cupid and stuff. I want to say they like really started to hit off at like 2012. Yeah. It was like when like, they really. Yeah, so, yeah uh, we thought off. the world was ending. They were like, you got to fuck Tinder. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess I just never had any. I never wanted to yeah. <laughs> just meet someone for the sake of. I, I feel like it's all, it's always good when it's just naturally someone you come across. Yeah. Not literally. I mean, ideally, right? But <laughs> I mean, when I was single um, for like about a year, year and a half, I used dating apps just because it was like, I'm lazy yeah. and I just want to like practice meeting people and just do that. Now that I'm thinking about it, 
dating apps that are not on the computer, like uh, OK Cupid, Plenty of Fish, eHarmony, Match.com, those guys. Yeah. J Date. Uh, sure. J Date. Uh, <laughs> early adapters. Phone apps. We didn't, that, you had to wait for like the iPhone 3. Yeah. So like Grindr came out in 2009. Did it really? Which feels early. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, that might you... be like right when the App Store launched. Because the was... phones didn't come out with an App Store. No, they yeah. didn't. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, that's like iPhone 3G, like just like a shitty little round yeah. piece of shit, and you're just swiping I like that on it dicks. had extra gaps though, as if there yeah. was an App Store, but there wasn't one. <laughs> they it was knew just for, it was like, coming. Regional stuff. <laughs> they knew it was coming. Oh Some, man. Someday, eventually. That's crazy. Have Have you all been hearing these stories about how? Um countries that use the chinese covid vaccine are having outbreaks no no uh, i guess the way they call it they call it the sinovac vaccine the, i guess okay. like you know that sounds like the bad guy in a movie from the 80s it does <laughs> i never thought about yeah, that it's a terminator villain. i guess like china you know is trying to in- get like goodwill in the world yeah. by giving away their covid vaccine <laughs> and so it's like some countries have gone all in with sinovac like mongolia the seychelles yeah and it's like, and now they've got like the worst outbreaks in the world. Oh no! It's like, so people don't know if it's like for different vac- uh, different they, viruses. Well, that's the thing they don't know. Well, it's it's all COVID, but they don't know if it's because the vaccine is entirely ineffective uh-huh. or if it's because it's ineffective against new variants. Oh no! So it's like that's... for whatever reason, it's just not working, and it's like that's upsetting. Yeah, we. You know, I hate to it's see gonna, it. It's a big deal. Like you know, we're. I feel like we're super lucky being here in the U.S. Yeah. having access to you know tons of vaccines, but it's like. The rest of the world is still in dire need of it. You know, there's still it's still a huge problem. Yeah, it's still a huge problem here. Because people are ignoring it too. I don't but think it's not even at fifty percent here yet, is it? No. I think um, we're at forty nine. Yeah. I want to say it's close to fifty. But still, that's like over a hundred and fifty million people, isn't it? But that's yeah, at uh, fully vaccinated. We still can't eat ass yet. One that's... shot is higher. <laughs> one shot I think is in the sixties, right? I think so. One dose is not sponsor. Uh, one dose is 54% fully yeah. vaccinated is 46%, but that Ugh. includes children. If you do uh, merely 18 and up, one dose is 66%, fully vaccinated is 57%. Still can't Which country ass. has the highest percentage? Well, I guess this is like I tiny want ass country. It might be Israel. Israel, I think. I know they were like really ahead of the vaccine game like I feel very like early on. Vatican City and <laughs> San Marino, which are like two tiny countries in Italy, just yeah. throw off all of the because <laughs> yeah. they're like city size canada's finally starting to do better okay they were struggling for a bit there but i think uh they're on the up and up right now hoping to Go for that to improve day. i want to visit my family it's weird that you can't i know <laughs> i mean weird. i think i could technically, technically. <gasps> echo but, but um i think i'd have to quarantine for 14 days if i get there which uh, it's a long time to be. It's not like you don't. It's not like you have to be on screen every day for any sort of. Reason yeah, yeah. It's not like I no. to have to uh, be stuck. The highest percentage of fully vaccinated people in the <clears throat> country is Malta. Malta. And how many percentage? Uh, sixty-two percent. How many people are in Malta? Like forty-seven. <laughs> that still seems the, low. The highest <laughs> yeah. per cap. The highest doses administered per capita looks like United Arab Emirates. Okay. With second place being Malta. That's wow. the that's the rich place, right? That's like Dubai, Malta, yeah. or United Emirates. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Rich guys, but it doesn't. But it does not give percentages for it's, UAE. It still just seems that per capita, sixty-two percent still seems low for that to be the highest percentage vaccinated country. Mm-hmm. Well, the highest percentage for one vaccine is Iceland at seventy-two percent. Okay, okay. I want to know Iceland. my what I'm going to enjoy seeing is down the line in the future when we see what happens when like people with different vaccines like have kids and like what the immunity looks like mm. oh. in that kid's DNA. If this is like a forever thing, like a polio shot. Like, yeah, but that's it, not in our DNA though, is it? That's just the polio it? one. Away. No, it's just like, doesn't when it, you're a baby, you suck all your mom's nutrients out. The, it, yeah, I mean, they may be able to get antibodies that yeah, way. Yeah, I think if you like, get the COVID you get, like, vaccine super while you're pregnant, your baby will get the antibodies. And I think also if you <laughs> breastfeed while you receive the vaccine, that the, antibi- the... the antibodies pass as well. Yeah, I believe so. How much? I don't know. How long you got to... Again, two. Not a science how podcast. Long you, <laughs> how long you got to suckle? So how long you got to suckle up that get tea? The antibodies. <laughs> yeah. People always seem surprised when it's like, oh, if you do this when you're pregnant, your baby will get it. But it's like... Well, yeah. Physically attached until yeah. it's born. It literally sucks your nutrient. Like that's it's a like, parasite. Yeah, like <laughs> it's what, a parasite. babies are fucking parasites. Uh, they literally suck your bones. 
Like they suck the stuff, your nutrients out of your bones. That's, that's why like, that's the pregnant part. women can like break their legs and shit super easy because they got brittle bones from the baby sucking all the juice out. You're Plus just giving me more fat. reason never to have don't a child. Don't do it. <laughs> Believe me, you don't got to convince me. It's <laughs> disgusting. Also, have you ever seen like uh, that thing that's like, this is why they say don't get an MRI while you're pregnant. It doesn't do anything to the baby. It just shows you the eldritch horror that lives inside of you. Oh, yeah. Because you see like. I haven't the, seen that. You could probably Google it. Why don't they do that instead of ultrasound? That's way cooler. Do do you want to never love your baby? (laughs) Yeah. That's also true. uh, Maybe just don't have it at that point. Yeah. If seeing Uh, it is going to make you not love it. I mean. (laughs) Oh, my God. Yeah, see? (laughs) Oh, let's have a look. It looks like. It looks like when Mars attacks. It looks like Majora's Mask. (laughs) Show Gavin. (laughs) He'll never have that inside him. Oh! oh. <laughs> Whoa! It look, yeah, it looks like the moon. <laughs> the moon. It looks like like a fucked up Majora's mask. I hate it. I don't care for it. Babies yeah. are gross. Oh, when they're in you. Tyler, I'll send it over to you. Oh, no, gosh. that's I. I thought I wanted to see that. No, you don't. Oh, I wish it's I could unsee that. Big on the screen. Should no, we force everyone don't look in that our up. audience to see it too. Uh, oh, it's so fucked. I hate oh, it. Oh, I'm gonna have a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, that's the last thing you're gonna see before. Baby, <laughs> can we do meet mommy? <laughs> The, d- the doctor said he doesn't yeah, show the scans yeah. to expecting mothers. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame him. <laughs> oh, God. That's disgusting. That's, that's what Edward that's... and Alphonse saw when they tried to bring their mom back. <laughs> <laughs> that is up there with the, uh, the the teeth up the baby's skull. Oh, yeah. Skull. Oh, yeah. Oh, right uh, about that. There are some things that mankind is just never, never meant, meant to, to see. see. <laughs> never meant to know about. Every, yeah. every time I think about how we know stuff, I'm like, this didn't happen in a good way. Something, I I a crime happened for us to have this knowledge. Mm. Like, I'm like, I'm like, why do you know the parts of the brain? You did something. You, you did something. You someone did idea. something, yeah. Yeah. and it was bad. It once. <laughs> then we had to describe it. It's like then you have to explain it to someone. So then you have to name like, it. I shouldn't know how my blood in my body works because you did something for us to have this evil ancient knowledge. Yup. <laughs> like, yup. Like you, what were you, like you? You let you blood let someone that shouldn't have been let. <laughs> like something happened here. I'm I'm trying to imagine the control room having the discussion right now. Do we show this? Should they show, they show, show them talking? Because it's so <laughs> fucked up. And then make it the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just like, uh. baby, do what? <laughs> it could be the title. <laughs> oh God! Oh, Scientists my. never believed Barb, that this is what they it? would see. Um, I've s- I saw it, it when I think like a few weeks ago when this was I think on Reddit or something it's like so that, bad. but I didn't see it on your screen, so that's Blah. why I was like secretly hoping they would put it. Yeah, <laughs> so I could see it. Oh, I need to watch Mars Attacks tonight in yeah. hope that it override overwrites the memory yeah. of knowing that's a real baby. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yep, yep. I for yeah, it's Shit. the eyes. It's <laughs> the eyes that get me. Yeah, <laughs> that is so messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> oh, that'd be a this great a twin twin Dylan in chat says I regret clicking that link mods can we get a ban <laughs> I wonder if I'd there's like a self ban please that would I wonder be a if great... there's an MRI of twins or triplets oh just uh, a, like a little a litter. litter of them yeah they're like they're like all squished up <laughs> yeah. that would be a, such a good YouTube channel just a guy MRIs with an babies. MRI machine yeah that'd be cool but it's just like very it'd be like one of those like cleaning channels though so it's just the sounds of the MRI like super close up to the mic but then you're just seeing these algae horrors on the screen never do a collaboration with that channel and will it blend <laughs> I'm thinking hydraulic press but oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. what's that one called like will it white hot nickel yeah. ball will it blend <laughs> Oh, remember that? And the knife, the hot knife hot one? Hot knife guy. You know what my favorite oh. videos used to be? You know that machine that can destroy anything? Like, they'll put a car yeah, the, in it and it shreds yeah. it? I would watch that for hours. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Just, like, before TikTok was a thing, that's what I watched. I used to like <laughs> watching stuff go into, like, the hard drive grinders, mm. and then you just get, like, the teeth. But yeah. then I, I always imagine, like, oh, I just uh, would suck to catch your hand yeah. in that and be pulled oh. in. So, mm-hmm. like, that's the thing. Um, those videos, I used to think that was like the wholesome side of YouTube because I'd be like, oh, I love watching these old cars get torn apart. But now they throw meat in them. Ugh, and that's why? the trend. No. They're just like, whole whole pig and machine. <laughs> oh, I'm just like, what? I, I don't want this. Who wants this? Like, Put inanimate objects in there. And you're like, like no, go yeah. away. Not to be like vegan propaganda, but that's literally apparently what some places do to get rid of like male chicks at the hatchery. Oh my God. Mm. At like, at like places, at like egg farms, they just take the male chicks and they throw them in that. Oh my God. At some of them sometimes in some places allegedly yeah, some places. Uh, all, the other of, place, all of them pretty much oh well, no the other places use drowning buckets 
Some some of them use gas too. I think. Yeah. Oh, God. It's all it just incredibly depends. bad. Cruel. <laughs> Here's my thing: just raise them and turn them into dog food or whatever. That costs know. money. I get resources. Not if you okay. Don't raise them. Just turn them into dog food immediately. Oh man. Or like nitrogen for your fertilizer. Oh God. <laughs> Peter H just sent me something. Oh no. What is it? Unborn twins caught on video MRI for the first time. Show me. When are we just going to get Dusky Peter Hayes on me? the podcast? Peter, Peter, once he can travel again. Honorary guest. Yeah, he was on RTX last year, I believe. He was on in RTX. Oh, was picking the <laughs> yeah. other. In a segment. Oh. oh. I don't know what I'm... Oh. Oh. Oh, oh they're kicking... Oh, that's, that's kind of cute. cute. that one. Yeah, you don't see their faces. See their f- yeah, you can't profile, see them. They're yeah. not staring into my <laughs> they're soul. They're just like <laughs> profiled going... In, in the womb, you can already tell which one's going to be an asshole to the other one. <laughs> you can already tell yeah, which one's dominant. Yeah. Can a baby sneeze in the womb? I hope not. You he probably sneezes out? like Kayla does. Yeah. <laughs> well, that baby doesn't breathe yet, does it? They're not breathing. They do abyss breathing. A what? Abyss breathing. What? Like the James Cameron movie, the abyss. Oh, abyss. Yeah. I thought you said abyss. No. Yeah, like a bisque. <laughs> Right. Baby bits. Yeah. Well, let's, let's go and wrap this up. I'm tired of seeing things that are <laughs> disturbing. To I me. feel like we just spent an hour and a half grossing ourselves out. Yeah. Technologically, it started with olives and then ended at womb. I'm going to go home and dumb my house. <laughs> Harry Potter. You're going to make a dumb home. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll see you guys again next week. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Hope I didn't talk too much this time. No, it's great. <laughs> Did you talk too much last time? Yeah, it was a complaint. I-